Almost two years ago, we left it all behind for a chance at the sailing adventure of a lifetime. It has not been smooth sailing since then, but together we are learning and laughing our way through. Our hope is that if we laugh long enough, we can make our merry way around the world. And this... This is a Millennial Falcon. Last episode, we successfully completed the first leg of our Atlantic crossing, the 850 mile journey from St. Martin to Bermuda, and ended up safely at anchor in St. George's Harbour. Five bucks says in two minutes, we can wear in two seconds to get ahoy! <laughs> a knock. Fine. <laughs> we wait until he actually said something. Yeah. <laughs> hey man! I know! It's 19 degrees, would you believe? Oh. Now that uh, our Canadian neighbour has gone yes. to get his jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the Canadian even came around and said that it was freezing. So uh, we are dressed in our long stuff and we haven't worn this for like a year and a half now maybe it feels so weird you know like when you see dogs in like wearing shoes or something you're just like and they're just doing this i feel like that in my in my clothes it's really weird but um anyway it's miserable weather because the because this is a british colony y yeah probably that <laughs> yesterday was miserable we slept the whole day um so today we've woken up and we're like nah we've got to get off this boat we've been on this boat now for like nine days and we need to get off so Come rain, hail or shine, we will get off this boat. Um, and we're going to go to Hamilton today. Um, it's uh, on the south of the island, so we're probably going to get a bus there and just explore Hamilton. Off the boat! Yes! <laughs> Nine days later, we're off. My first steps on land and I almost fell in. <laughs> I got land waffles and I'm not even on land. <laughs> Pictures of the Queen on the wall, have you saluted <laughs> the flag? This is cool, I love history, I'm such a nerd. Um, yeah, like I like history and checking out old architecture and stuff, so I feel like this week I've got a good feeling about this place. How's it feel? It feels to like be being back at home. I'm like, oh my god, it's Marks and Spencer. And I have like all these English shops. I'm a little excited. I'm a little bit excited. Never mind the lovely 16th century architecture. Oh, and that too, obviously. The beautiful colours. <laughs> I'm like, and Marks and Spencer's, maybe they have a food section. <laughs> I feel like I have a bounce in my step. I'm like super happy. That's the land sickness talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm probably, I don't even notice it. I'm already walking like this. You know, you're walking around on like a 45 degree land. <laughs> exactly. this, is, this is how it should look. <laughs>
Now we're just uh, exploring the town of, what's it called? Hamilton? Hamilton, yeah. And uh, we're going to go find ourselves a pint of Guinness in an hour or two. Oh, yes, please. Do all that, that shirt. That shirt's good. Um, you boys planning your next outfit? It's a Bermuda day tomorrow. We're going to get into the swing of things. <laughs> it, I um, mean, no, this it's no. It's, it's no, you trying to justify it? It is color coded. This is actually starch. Starch. Adam, where are we going today? It's Bermuda Day. We're going Bermuda to day. St George's. No, that's where we are now. We're going to what's the town called? Hampton. Uh, Hampton. Hamilton. 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 Hampton. Hamilton, yes, we're going to Hamilton. It's Bermuda Day, there's parades, and the whole town is abuzz with Bermuda short wearing, check shirt clad hipsters. These guys take their parades very seriously from the look of it. They have been camped out for like 24 hours. We saw them here last night. <laughs> it's been a very long day at the parade, but it's very good. Um, it was really, really quite good, really quite fun. And uh, now we're waiting for our bus back to St George's, where the boats are, and um, call it a day. There was also a disappointing amount of Bermudan shorts today, and no knee high socks either. Oh, I know. I was very, very disappointed. Today we actually had a really good and productive day. So, today we woke up, we changed all of the pretty much took everything out of the cupboards and put everything back into different cupboards. So we redistributed. We redistributed the weight around the boat. So um, we're gonna we're gonna take the Bruce off the front and the chain. We're gonna sling the Bruce over the rear pulpit um, or in the gas locker, and the chain's gonna go in the rear gas locker too. Adam's done really really well with his Tetris skills here. So we have our CQR, the Bruce, the Danforth, and on the front is the Rockner. <laughs> More than 100 pounds from the nose to the tail, as almost full extent. So that's <laughs> that's a big change in the moment arm. Jerry cans we've moved from the front uh, front the starboard bow on the front on the on the on the rails. I've currently got them like lashed together under the mast work rails, like the the, the grab rails. But there's probably too many up there. Um, so we might split them and have some in the rear gas locker if we can fit them and some under the transient berth. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we can move a couple of hundred kilos of stuff backwards to, uh, uh, to offset the weight in the nose and stop us from plowing and get our entry a little bit finer. Um, and, uh, and lastly, we had issues with our engine when we were coming into this lagoon, um, but we, we booted up the engine today, we went off an anchor, we just did like a little lap around, like we literally took the engine up to um, 2800, 3000 oh, RPM, and no vibrations, no nothing, it seems that whatever was the issue when we first came in here, which was the vibration of the whole steering column, um, has just kind of gone. I do really hate the resolution to this issue because it's not a resolution. Problems don't just come up and then go away. Or they, sorry, let me rephrase, they do, but it's, gonna, it's just gonna bug me now. Like As an engineer, we, that's not a, a good no, reason. <laughs> it's not a good enough reason. Yeah, I, I understand that it, it, it's not doing it now. And you know, we really took it for a run. Like we were doing seven and a half knots at 3000 RPM. And like I've never seen this boat go so fast with uh with on on the engine, so I was quite impressed with that. It's not blowing smoke, it's not carrying on, it's not vibrating, um, and and it, even at the rev range where it was doing it before, it wasn't it wasn't doing it. And we put a GoPro on a stick in the water when we were coming in the day it was vibrating to see if we were fouled up, had some weed on the props or something. I couldn't see anything there. I'll put the footage, and you guys can see if you can see anything. Um, so I don't think we were dragging anything or carrying anything that's since gotten loose. So the only hypothesis that I can come up with now is that it was like an injector that got a bit clogged up and it was misfiring or running rough. And and when I gave it a real boot, it blew itself clean and now it's it's all good again. So, uh, Which is a, a pretty loose hypothesis. So now I guess we just have to take it take it as it is and, and there's no problem. No problem to be found. And, and that's the last of it until it 
comes back, which is the part that's going to keep me up at night. But you know, <laughs> if anyone else has a suggestion as to what it might be, I'd really love to hear it because um, by the time this airs, it may or may not have risen its ugly head again. Um, but I, I'd like to know. I don't know. I'm very open to suggestions on that one. So we've missed our window, pretty much. There's no other way to say it. We, um, we came in a week ago now and uh, there, was, there was a window that had opened um, and it was pretty good. Uh, so we'd be, if we had have just touched the rock and carried on, we probably would have been three quarters of the way across now with a pretty good outlook and it would have been a lovely passage. Um, we instead stayed because we, we discovered on the way here that there's quite a draft at night that comes through the Bimini and Dodger gap. So Chiara knocked up a quick um, uh, curtain for that um, in a, and took a day or two. Um, and we, you know, we expected another window to open up. Unfortunately, uh, the weather is being pretty ridiculous actually. There's a, a big, not a big front, but there's a front coming through in the next two days that is liable to sort of hit Bermuda and then leave pretty much nothing in its wake, as in like no wind. But then later down the forecast, like 10 days time, there's another massive front across all four forecasts that is forming sort of three quarters of the way there. So there's two reasons why this is not a great time to go. So lo and behold, we've always staying in Bermuda until the weather improves and we're gonna go fishing. We're gonna go exploring. It just looks like a place that is just rife with life. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go uh, go and get the pulse beers out, my friend Kenny and I, uh, and Kiara's gonna throw a line over the side of the dinghy and uh, see if we can't get some fish nuggets happening tonight. <laughs> with a form of man flu a few days ago. Um, it's now just been um, downgraded to just a cold, um, but he's he's popped up a few times and just been like, ow, that hurt when I went down that far. I couldn't, I couldn't get past about seven feet in there. I, uh, I have a bit of blood coming out of my nose now. <laughs> You're an idiot. Snotty blood. No like burst eardrums at least, but I've... So I'm gonna have to items. call it quits for the day, unfortunately, and... Uh, Try again in a few days, maybe. We caught a feed, we caught dinner. I'm making ads sit here with some steam. <laughs> Trying to clear his, his sinuses out. I think it's singeing my burst blood vessels closed. It's so freaking hot. <laughs> Breakfast of Z grade YouTubers. Champions. What is your plan for today? The new dinghy is taking water, but where the hull to rib joint is on the uh, at the transom, it's sort of separating from the aluminium. I'm thinking 5200 for the initial repair. We basically leave the dinghy overnight, and you come out and you're more than ankle deep in underwater by the time, like overnight. So it's taking a pretty steady stream of water. <laughs> Quickly, run! I literally just said to Carol, quick, get the camera. There's a huge wall of rain coming, and like, the drops are preceding the rain. <laughs> the wall. So here it comes, you can see it through the curtain there. Alright, so um, the dinghy job has been put on hold because there's rain. There is a load of rain. Um, but on the plus side, we did get to test my curtains. My brand spanky new curtains. Um, so they've just done, we just did them a week ago, maybe? No, a few days ago, I just finished them. And it's now 30 knots of wind we've just had. And 
they've held up. They've actually held up quite well. And it's quiet. There's no wind noise yeah. rushing through the... Like, this is really nice. Is I'm pretty good. happy. And they're not flapping, so they should stay secure. Feeling quite refreshed? Yeah. It's clean. <laughs> what you doing there, buddy? Warming myself on the fire. <laughs> it's kind of nice. It warms your hands up. Just go get the like all the candles we have and just make a little <laughs> fireplace. FYI, folks, we're not numpties, and we don't put this fire. We don't put this kerosene lantern in like precarious positions when we're underway. No, which is why, a, which is is why strictly, we can afford to have it here. This is a strictly static. Uh, static. Yes. Hi, I mean, it worked pretty well for a couple of hundred years, mm. in uh, as long as the, the appropriate precautions are taken, and it's put in a in a cage. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we said this this morning, but we had a, a bit of a uh, not a false alarm. Uh, we had a laptop issue, and uh, I, with a new laptop that is barely eight months old, still on warranty. Yeah. Um, Six months, I reckon. Just would not boot up, and I googled it. Uh, and apparently it's uh, uh, according, you know, like, you know when you go to WebMD and you're like, oh, I've got a sore throat and you go, WebMD, sore throat. And after about 10 minutes, you're like, I have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, or like, uh, something yeah. horrible. It's a bit like that with uh, computer problems. And you, you, I Googled the problem and it was like, your motherboard's crashed. It's bur like, you need a new motherboard. I was like, ah, that's $400 problem. We're out of business again. Uh, Anyway, Kiara was like, it's the humidity. And did, she's... Did, I didn't believe this. Did you I always, I was, No, I was like, you, you foolish, foolish woman. Go away. <laughs> and she's got the hairdryer out. She had the laptop in a plastic bag with a fistful of rice. <laughs> while I'm Googling what's wrong and, and uh, everyone's telling me my motherboard's crashed. And so I'm, I'm a hair's breath from cracking it open and dislodging the battery. And cracking me open uh, because I've got you the laptop open. in a bag of rice. <laughs> Um, and like trying to do a hard reset to bring it back to life, which which apparently was a potential fix. Anyway, Kiara is in the back room. She storms off with the laptops and her bag of rice. She gets the <laughs> hairdryer on it, and as I'm googling away, I just hear Adam, <laughs> Adam. <laughs> Love you, the laptops come to life. Did, didn't skip uh -huh. a beat. Uh -huh. Hasn't missed a beat all day. Exactly. Uh, and and in Kiara's defence, it was uh, it's been in, like I, I work in the V berth because uh, I, I don't know why I need to have sh shut doors around me when I edit. So I go in the V berth and when I'm done, I put it down. All the hatches were closed, but for some reason it's very damp in there. So now we're like. We're, we're yeah. humidity Nazis and we're like watching, exactly. forget the barometer, what's the humidity at today? <laughs> exactly. uh, we're also going to say too, my lovely, my lovely smelling rosemary, um, the boat uh, just next to us on Aquas, um, such a lovely, such a lovely couple. Equus. Equus, sorry, Equus, not Aquas. Um, she popped around yesterday and was like, I found rosemary in the street, here, have some. Anyway, she has it on her boat and it is really sets the tone. It's really, really good. She um, she makes these purses on her boat and it's made out of like sailcloth. And she makes um, like bags, passport covers. I really actually wanted a passport cover. Um, but anyway, she gave me this and uh, she was like, oh, you know, this is this is kind of what I do, um, how she makes money on her boat. It's only ex-models and failing engineers. Fail <laughs> Failed engineers that have no marketable skills out here and have exactly. to get in front of the camera. What the hell do you do as an administrator? Yeah, sure, I'll just be like, what the hell do I administrate out here? Actually, I'm damn good at checking into countries. <laughs>